Welcome back to Trending. Joining us now in studio is blogger Natalie Lohav. Hi, Natalie. How are you doing? Hi, good. How are you? Good, thanks. Thanks for being here. Yeah. Well, you have something really fun for us today. Yes, I do. Um, so I wrote this article that basically put out three different steps that you can do to make anyone fall in love with you. Anyone? Anyone. Oh, wow. Well. Um, yeah, <laughs> very cool. Quite ambitious. Um, it was actually based on an uh, article that Business Insider published. So they yeah. took a bunch of research from the actual area of business and human communications and took it over to the world of dating. Mm, um, so basically, yeah, very interesting. So these they found three basic steps that you need um, to do as well, and they gave a few other ones which I'll, you know, talk about a okay. little. Okay. Um, all right, so the first tip is to embarrass yourself. Really? Yes. <laughs> you wouldn't always think that. No, but... exactly. So you would think the opposite. You know, if you go to a day, you want to be at your best right. and not embarrass yourself. Um, but they found out that 80% of people actually open up more to people who tell embarrassing stories about themselves or are willing to embarrass themselves in social situations. It's like an enduring quality. <laughs> Isn't exactly, it? and yeah. it kind of makes you vulnerable and, you know, people feel a bit more comfortable with you, yeah, I guess. that's true. Yeah. Um, okay, so the second one is to make private jokes or language. Now, I know this might be hard on the first date, yeah. but maybe on the second or the third, um, this will help you create a better kind of, in, you know, intimacy between the yeah. two, and it will help you, the other person fall in love with you quicker. So ah, interesting. It, it creates an immediate connection when you have your own little lingo between each other. Exactly. Yeah. So that's the point. Um, all right, the third one is to be polite. So this is a kind of an obvious one yeah. but it's not always the case um, in Israel or in general <laughs> on some dates. Um, so yeah, well, in, research, Israel. in Israel, yeah, I was going to say. Um, so women prefer and they show more gratitude to men who are polite. So um, pull out the chair, open the door, maybe give her a compliment or two. This, okay. These are things that are going to help you warm up to her. That's chivalry. Exactly. <laughs> um, so those are the three main steps but if they're not enough or if you feel like you don't really connect to those, there are a few other things that you can do. Mm -hmm. um, um, a research found an interesting connection between your body temperature and your personality. Your so, body temperature? Yes, the heat of your body. So if the hotter you are, the nicer you are and more open. So mm. they recommended that you go for a coffee instead of a beer, maybe for the first date. So most people are making a mistake then because yeah. a lot of people meet up for drinks as exactly. opposed to coffee. Yes, yeah, no, I was just thinking that I went on a date for a cup, you know, glass of wine and we were sitting outside and it was so cold Ooh, and we were both so worried yeah. about how cold we were that we didn't even talk to each other. So, so it didn't go well. So heat, so no. But keep warm and, and you know, maybe next time we'll go for coffee. Yeah, <laughs> sparks will fly. Exactly. <laughs> um, another one is be positive. And not, I know this also sounds a little bit obvious, but um, it comes from a research that checked 300 guys and um, the research checked what men prefer or are more attracted to in women and actually it came out that they're more attracted to positive women mm -hmm. so uh, women who are positive um, you know give a bigger attraction than um, even looks so yeah. um, it's interesting that you say that because uh, I admittedly am a fan of The Bachelor yes and whenever <laughs> the women get to their jealous moments mm -hmm. and reveal that to The Bachelor he Cuts yeah, he cuts so <laughs> that's interesting that it's exactly. shown right there. So yeah. positivity is key. So yeah, they're definitely attracted to positive, um, to positive attitudes. Um, eye contact is another one, which is mm. also a little bit obvious, I thought. But researchers have found that the more eye contact you connect with people um, on a date, on the first date, second yeah. date, um, so the bigger intimacy you'll be able to create. Interesting. Um, cool. Yeah. So that's towards the the love area. Um, talk about the date or the relationship with your friends, hmm. which is another thing because I was always told, don't talk about it too much. Like, don't Open your mouth, yeah, kind of exactly. Thing, or or don't bad jinx it. Exactly. Don't jinx it. Yes. <laughs> um, but apparently, a research found out that the couples who did talk about their relationship with other people did succeed more than people who didn't talk about it at all. That's really interesting. Yes. Okay, so that definitely goes against our so instincts. Yeah, so keep that one in mind. And last one, one. last one. Yes. Don't say I love you before you sleep together. Why is that? And this that? is a really big one. Um, I think it creates a bigger intimacy again between mm -hmm. the couple and it makes the relationship um, more real and more genuine, I think, yeah. and more emotional. So you're making love instead of just having sex. Mm -hmm. So don't just so don't wait, basically. Don't have sex before. Say it, you know, after and, yeah, much better. Okay, well, yes, great definitely. advice. Thanks so much for this, Natalie. This is so interesting. Yes, I know. Keep this in mind right if you're looking if you're for jinxed. love. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and coming up next, we'll sit down with the writer and barista who's trying to change the coffee.